Stitcher. So if you're a new subscriber, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Um, I have got lots of finishes for you here today. I've got another mixture of um, cross stitch and embroidery pieces that I've done. Um, I was hoping to get back sooner. Uh, everything that I've got here today is Valentine's Day still. Um, I continued to stitch Valentine's Day up until a couple of days ago when I started, I uh, got started on Easter um, and I was hoping to get back sooner but I had just, I got a bit slack on the finishing department. I stitched a lot, I just didn't get a lot FFO'd. Um, I still haven't got everything FFO'd that I wanted to but running out of time to get a video up. Um, tomorrow I'm going in for gallbladder surgery so I wanted to get this up today because it'll be a few weeks probably before I'm doing too much more finishing. A week would give myself at least a couple of weeks, I'm assuming. So I thought I would um, update today and get it up for you guys. So first up though, I do have a... Um, uh, I saved the stitches. So I found this piece here and it's been professionally framed. Um, it's a really pretty Christmas piece, I love it. Um, and I got that piece, I picked this one up from our local tip shop um, for a dollar. So that was pretty good. Um, I've actually picked up a few other pieces from the local tip shops as well. Um, so I've been really lucky there. I think I picked up another four pieces or something from a local tip shop. So it's always good to save the stitches, I think. Um, so next I will get into some previous finishes. These are from a couple of years ago that are Valentine's Day um, and ones that I don't think I've showed in videos before. So I thought I'd show them. Um, I've got this piece here that I did. This pattern I think was from Stitch Rovia. Um, it's not real, doesn't really fit in with my color scheme anymore for Valentine's Day. Um, I've contemplated whether to pull it apart and use different fabric on it or just leave it. But I think I'll just leave it and maybe in the future I might re-stitch it. I'm not sure yet. I mean, it's still pretty, so. Um, and yeah, so that one's from Stitch Rovia. This one here, I think might also be, sti not Stitch Rovia. Um, yeah, I think it might be Stitch Rovia. I'm not sure the name of the pattern, but it says love is all you need. So I'm assuming that's probably the name of the pattern. Once again, this doesn't really fit my color scheme anymore. Although it's not too bad. It's the red, white, and pink, and I have red, white, pink, and black. Um, and I, so I did this as a wall hanging. I'll get that up so you can see it better. So I did that one as a wall hanging. Um, but when we moved the, I did like a, um, a hanging sleeve and the wooden dowel that I had in it actually broke while we're moving. So I need to fix that one back up. Um, so now I'll get into some new finishing that I did. And I have this piece here can't remember the name of it, but it's um, a free little piece from Melissa at Pumpkin and um, P 
Pinker and Pumpkin Quilting over on YouTube, uh, over on Facebook. Oops. So that's that there. I did it on a trivet and I sprayed the trivet black and I did a very um, neutral flower and stuff on it because I've done this one as a magnet finish so that I can, just got other ones in this series. So I wanna be able to swap this piece out with the other ones in the series as I do them. So that's that one. This piece here I love. Um, this is another free piece from the Snowflower Diaries called I Will Be There. And that's the pattern there. Um, and this is my finished piece. So I stitched it on 14 count black Ada. So it's a little bigger finish. And then I um, cut and glued these flooring boards together and gave it a light spray of white so that it still had that sort of farmhouse look to it. And the glue that I used this time actually, didn't say it on the bottle, but it actually um, foams up as it dries. And so some had leaked, so I covered it up with the rope wrapped around it, the, um, the twine, and then just did a little bit of greenery and a flower. And then I did these little um, twine bow kind of things and just put the bell in the middle. This is probably almost one of my favorite finishes from this time around. I mean, I love them all, but it gets so hard to decide which ones are your favorite. So this is another little freebie piece from Melissa from Pinker and Pumpkin Quilting. And this piece is so cute. It's got the chickens and the sheep and it says, love you. And I just did this on a little, um, I did it on tea, coffee dyed Ada. And then I just did it I had this MDF little heart, so I sprayed it red and then just added some little, um, these are like some little plaster hearts that I had bought from the cheap shops here. Did another bow out of the twine and little flowers and just the black and white gingham to bring in the black and white. I love that piece as well. And here's another piece that's also another freebie from Melissa from Pink and Punker Quilting. Um, I can't think of the name. Love Cupid, something like that. It is so cute, this piece. And I had this little heart dish. It was actually a little wooden heart dish and it had painting on it. And I picked that up at our local tip shop as well. And it kind of looks crooked, but it's not. Um, and so I just sprayed that red and then sprayed a little like spritzes of a, um, white over it to tone the red down for this one. And then I just added some little leaves and a flower and some black and white gingham. And that's just on black 14 count Ada as well. Black Ada is probably my favorite pick, um, favorite fabric to stitch on. So I love stitching on black and I feel like everything just pops when it's on the black. This is another freebie. It just says it's you I like. I stitched this one last year. Um, I can't remember who this pattern came from now, but this was a freebie that went around last year. Um, so I just hand, uh, so tea coffee dyed some Ada, and then just did some rope twine bow and little flowers and a little pillow. So that was, I thought it's just a good little basket filler pillow. Um, okay, sorry, I thought I was missing a piece in, but I'm not. Then this is another freebie. Um, I'm gonna butcher the name, so I'll link it below. It's something like Prochetti Agogo. Um, it's an Italian lady it's pattern. This is also a freebie from her blog. She has quite a few freebies. I did the, um, I did one of her other freebies last month, I think. No, yeah, I did. I did another Valentine's one from a previous year. So this is this one. I was hoping to get to her freebie for this year, but I didn't get to that yet. But I love this piece. This piece was so fun to stitch. And I just had, I already had this pink um, sort of frame. And then I just wrapped around the glass, the black gingham, and then mounted that on and some flowers and bows. And that piece turned out really cute. That once again on the black Ada. 
So this is another freebie piece. There's quite a few freebies out there for Valentine's Day, I found. Um, I think all of mine were freebies. So this one here is from Kelly Stoda. So you'll find her over on Instagram and I think there's a link then to her blog and stuff to get the freebies. So this was a pink plate that I picked up um, from an op shop. I've actually got two at the time and I used one for an Easter finish a few years ago. Um, and this one got broken in our move into three sections. I'll show you the back where you can see a little more. So this is that same glue that foamed up, um, but it's okay. And then, so once I joined it together, I went over it with gold nail, like a gold textured nail polish, just to sort of hide it doesn't hide the crack but it makes it look really like it's supposed to be there i guess in my opinion and then so this piece here actually i there's a little bit more that goes down either side but i skipped that um but this piece is so cute this little um, bunny on the heart gingham heart i mean that's just me all over the gingham and then i used the black and white gingham and just a little bit of pink fabric and then I added this in, which covers up some of that breakage at the top. Um, but yeah, so, and then I just added some more flowers. And I think that piece turned out really cute considering I, this was a good, good little save from a broken plate. So I have one more cross stitch fully finished, which is another free one from Kelly Stoder as well. Uh, I can't think of the name of that one. Or this one I think actually I think this one is sending love and that other one is receiving love um, and so this piece here I actually picked up at the tip shop um, on the weekend we went for a drive down to some other tip shops a few hours away, or an hour or two away from us and so I managed to find that there and straight away I knew what piece I was going to use it for because I'd already had this piece finished or almost fin yeah I had it finished I think and so it's actually a frame where it's got the frame there and in the two hearts. So I just covered the over that with the black gingham and mounted that on and then added the bit of a twine and greenery. And then over the two hearts, I just added the two flowers. And I think this one come up super cute. Um, so I love that for a finish. Um, I'm just gonna pop that one over there. So what, I have next is some FOs just not fully finished. Um, and I can't remember where these, came, like which freebies these came from, but I did this little piece here, which is just the love. And then, sorry, the cat's here. And then my Valentine, I'm not sure who that one was from either. This one here is the love. That one here, this one here, I think is from Stitcherhood, from memory. And I think that one's really cute. I love this little one. And I'm gonna do this one as a little pillow finish. And it's just the love and it's got the little spools and the arrow, uh, the key, I mean. And I tied the bows. I seen that um, from, I can't think of her name, from, um, for the love of stitches and that's what she did instead of stitching the bows like it was supposed to she tied them and i thought that was really pretty and i just used a variegated dmc for the pinky red so i can't remember who that one was either um and then the last um cross stitch piece i have to show is a work in progress and i probably should take this piece of paper out so this is easter peep parade by brenda gervais so I've started on Easter. So, and this is what I've got started so far. And I hand dyed this fabric brown the other day. And it's just Ada, 14 count Ada, I think. So I've got that as my start for that so far. So I'm hoping to work on quite a few Easter pieces now um, to get finished for Easter. But I mean, I'll be able to stitch probably fine um, after the surgery, but it might be a week or two before I'm back out um, FFOing pieces. Um, 
So next I'm gonna move on to some embroidery pieces. I'm just gonna bring it over a bit closer. Um, so this is the first embroidery piece that I have, which is the, um, it's like the candy hearts. So I've actually got another one done in my craft room. I just haven't FFO'd it, but there's a few in the series. So I think I'm gonna alternate doing them the red on the black, and then I might do some pink on white as well. And so I just did that one as a pillow finish. And then I had this black heart fabric. So I did that as the back. And then I just added this yarn twine for the edging, which is really pretty. It's like a chenille twine and it's got like reds and greens kind of in it. And then I just did a little bow with a rosette. And I'm gonna try and finish all of the ones from the series the same, just do the two color colorways in it. And then you might remember a few videos ago, I did this one, but in the maroni color and I ended up giving it to my mum. So I wanted to redo it for myself. So I did mine in the red on the black and then in there it skipped a few stitches. So I decided just to add the, so, um, this uh, plaster heart and then I just added a bow and a rosette, a little bit of red and a little bit of black gingham. And then it's just the black gingham on the back of this one as well. I was right into doing pillow finishes. So, so there's quite a few pillow finishes. This is another one I've done in that more burgundy maroon kind of color that just says love. So all of these embroideries that I've done today come from Embroidery Library. Um, I think I'll do a video, sit down video while I'm recovering on where I get my embroidery patterns from. Um, but the majority of the ones that I've been stitching are from Embroidery Library. Um, I do have some from other ones though. Um, so I did that one, just finished as a pillow finish as well. And the same black and white heart fabric. And I did this matching burgundy or maroni colored um, braid trim around the edge and then just some um, twine bow, ribbon bow and a little flower. And then this next one also from Embroidery Library. It's just another love pillow and I did this in the red. I love this one. It's, I mean, it's simple, but I love it. And then the back I did just a red and white gingham fabric. And then I used another trim on the edge, which is just another yarn that I have, which is red and white. And I just tied that into a little bow thingy at the top with a couple of little red flowers. Simple finish, but cute. Now, these next two pieces go together. Um, I got, I did these ones. So it's got the little chickens, obviously with me having chickens, I had to have the chickens. And I found these burlap canvases from um, Kmart and it was a two pack for $7. And so I've just, I stitched them on the pink fabric cause they're heart shaped. I thought these were really good Valentine's ones. Um, so I stitched them on the pink fabric, did some of that red, red twine, a uh, red yarn. And then just added some flowers in the top corner and the bow and a little, another little flower. And then to go with it, I have the rooster one. And I, so I stitched it on the identical same fabric, the pink fabric and finished it the same way with the same stuff on the other one. And so these at the moment were hanging either side of my, oops, let me just get, were hanging either side of my TV unit, but I do have some other pieces that I want to um, do for there for every day, but I thought they were really cute for um, for Valentine's Day. So, and then I have one piece of haul. So if you're not interested in the haul, um, just click out now, but I've only got one piece and this was something that was on back order. Gosh, I must've ordered this almost a year ago and it was on back order and it came in and I'm I've wanted this one for a while and it's Merry Mouse by Brenda Gervais. So that is that piece. I actually meant to bring over my plans, stitching plans. Um, so 
So I'm going to stop the video here. I'm going to go and get those and then come back and um, go over my stitchy plans for the next couple of weeks. Okay, so I'm back with my stitchy plans. So yesterday and the day before, I have been working on coloring some fabric. So I have fabric ready for my finishes. Um, so I thought I'd show that as well. I didn't serge the edges, but I did this one here, which is like a minty green that I tea, uh, so coffee dyed over the top and just baked in the oven. Then I have done this turquoisey kind of color, which I also tea coffee dyed over the top. It's so pretty, this one. I did this one and it was a bit more gray looking. So I re-dipped it back in the Bahama blue for a, a, like a new batch. So it's nice and bright, but I'm gonna probably tea coffee dye over the top. I just didn't get time last night. So I've got that nice, beautiful piece. And then I just have some more tea coffee dyed um, that I did ready. It smells like coffee, that smells so good. And then another piece of Ada one. And then, so this is the rest of the brown that I'm stitching from what I'm stitching on now. But when I very first did the brown, I had two mishap pieces. So I have this piece here. And once I rinsed it out, it, it became um, more reddish orangey, but I absolutely love it. So, and it's very mottled. So I thought that would be really good for Halloween or Christmas. And then that was how the linen one come out, which I think is really pretty too. It's more rusty colored. So I have those ones um, that I will be working on with some of these Easter pieces and stuff. Um, so my plans for Easter stitching, if I can get through it all, is to obviously finish off the Easter peak parade. And then I have Hip Hop Chalkful from Hands On Designs. So I'd like to get that stitched. Um, excuse me. I'd like to stitch um, Penelope and Peep from Stitching with the Housewives. And I want to get some of their new releases as well, um, but I'm waiting for, uh, most of them haven't come to her Etsy. And if I was to order from the US, I would not get them anyway for ages. So I am waiting for those to come out um, on her page. And then this one here is a free one from the Snowflower Diaries. It just says spring. And even though it's not spring here when it's Easter, um, I just roll with it anyway. And so I'm going to do that to go with mine as well. That should be a nice little quick stitch. I love that one. Then I also have this Happy Easter one from Lucky Star Stitches. I've stitched one of her pieces before. Um, I did a Merry Christmas one, um, which... I gave to my mum so but I'm gonna do the happy Easter one um, and then these are all the ones I can't really show this one here I'm just gonna flash up really quickly um, I'm trying to there's a few here but it's pattern only so I don't want to show those this one here is another free one from the snowflower diaries which is spring bunny love so I'll just flash that up because it's got the pattern on it as well. Um, this is another free one from the Primitive Hair and it's the Spring Celebration, um, which is also a freebie. Now it has the word down there written in another language. So I'm just gonna do change that to Easter, but I think that one's really pretty. I have this one from the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery that I'd really like to stitch, which should stitch up really quickly in a day or two, called Spring Day at the Carrot Farm. That one's so cute. And then I'd like to also stitch up the Spring Smalls from Lizzie Kate. So I'm going to try and get those stitched up as well. And then I'd like to also work on this Easter Bunny Row from Bent Creek. I think this one is so cute. 
and I'd also like to do Spring Fling by Brenda Gervais. Now that's why I colored some of these fabrics because Priscilla did hers on the turquoise and did the bunny brown and that's what I think I'm gonna do. So that's why I, I um, colored those fa that fabric. But that one is super cute. Um, I'd like to do Where Hearts Rest by Je Brenda Gervais, which is the nest one. I'm gonna try and get that done as well. I told you I've got a lot on my list that I'd like to get stitched. It's probably not gonna happen since Easter's only a month away, but we'll see how we go. Um, Tulip Festival by, by Brenda Gervais. It's also on my list. Um, more chocolate bunnies by Hands On Designs that I'd like to stitch. Um, Peter and Peep from With Thy Needle and Thread, Brenda Gervais. This one is so cute. I'm, I don't know, I might stitch this next. I just love this one. Now I got this one and it's called Plum, it's Plum Street Samplers Spring Delivery. I don't think I'll do it on, I'm, I'm probably just going to do that one on tea coffee dyed. I'll see how I go. Or uh, I might just dab a piece with the tea bag, which gives it more that yellowy orange look. And I have these ones, Spring Crazies from Lizzie Kate, which has got all these little Easter finishes in it. So I might get started and do one or two little pieces out of that. Um, Little House Needleworks Spring ABCs. I'd like to get that done. I actually have something for finishing this one too. Pineberry Lane Sisters Farm Fresh Eggs is another one I'd like to get stitched. I'm hoping while I'm sitting around recovering that first week or so, I might get a lot of stitching done. Um, Welcome Spring by Country Cottage Needleworks. I think this one's adorable. And then I also have this one, Spring Sheep from Twin Peaks Primitive, which I think is super cute as well. So that's all the other pieces I'd really like to um, get stitched. Um, I mean, like I said, there's a lot there to stitch. It's probably not all gonna happen for Easter, but who knows, I might keep working on it for a little bit after Easter. And then on top of that, I've also got some embroidery patterns I've bought that I'd like to also work on stitching. Um, so I think that's about all I have to show for you. Um, I think I, I mentioned how I went to the tip shops. I got a ton of stuff for finishing from the tip shops on the weekend. And then I also did some op shopping last week, which I also got a ton of frames and things to use for finishes as well. So I'm super excited. I've built up my stash for finishing now. Um, but so that's about it for today. And like I said, I have surgery tomorrow. So tomorrow is going to be a write off day. Um, they did say I'd be in overnight, but I'm waiting on the phone call today. Hopefully I can just get out the same day would be nice. Um, so that's about it for today. And I will catch you all next time in a few weeks. Um, I will have a few other videos coming up um, that I'm going to work on. Um, I want to do a couple of embroidery videos and a couple of um, cricket videos. And then I've also got a Ray Dunn haul that I'm going, going to do on here as well. Uh, so thank you for watching and joining me on my video today. And I will catch you all in a couple of weeks. Bye.